Hey, have you ever struggled to find the right file or folder in Google Drive? Do you find yourself constantly scrolling and clicking trying to find the right document or spreadsheet? Well, if so, you're not alone. But don't worry, because in this video, we're going to see how to get your Google Drive organized and streamline your navigation using Google Sheets. Say goodbye to frustration and hello to efficiency. Let's get started. This is my colleague's Google Drive. It's an absolute cluttered mess. He had files scattered all over the place, making it nearly impossible to find anything quickly. But with a little bit of organization and the use of Google Sheets as a navigational tool, we were able to turn things around. Now my colleague can easily find the files he needs in just a single click, saving him hours of time every week. In fact, over the course of a year, he literally saves days, maybe even weeks of time thanks to the system. And while I'm going to show you what this looks like from a teacher's perspective, this will also work for absolutely any industry. I also have a freelancing data analyst side of the business and I use this all the time for every single one of my projects. Unfortunately, I can't show you any of those because they're not my projects, they belong to the owner. But no matter what industry you're in, this will absolutely change the way that you use your Google Drive. Now you're probably thinking that because this is a tutorial about Google Drive, we're going to open up Google Drive. But actually, we're going to open up Google Sheets. So let's type into the URL here, sheets.new. And because I'm a teacher, I teach from year nine all the way up to scholarship, I'm going to have a bunch of links to my courses. So I'm going to call this course links. Um, let's make this a little bit pretty. So I'm going to go Remedo one because it's right there. Let's go with a bluey color and let's make it quite large. Uh, column A, I'm going to resize that to size 20. That's the size of the each row. And then right over at column L, I'm going to resize that to column 20 as well. You can use extra columns if you want but I only need up to column K and then column L is sort of like our buffer. Column N and everything beyond, so that was, uh, I just selected M, then control shift and to the right. Right click that, I'm going to delete all of those. So we just have this little, little uh, this little simple setup here. Let's freeze our top part. So to do that, you can either click in row three and then go to view freeze up to row three. And that gives us this frozen uh, line. So now we can scroll and course links stays right at the top. Just undo that with control Z. The other way to do that is these numbers here just above the number one. There's this dark gray line. Line. When your cursor changes from an arrow to the hand, click on that and drag it down to where you want it. And now that has frozen the uh, course links up the top. So that's what our spreadsheet looks like at this stage. To make the spreadsheet really um, look more professional, go up to view, show, and grid lines to not show those grid lines, and automatically this looks so much better. Now again, uh, my, guy, my, my Google Drive has a whole bunch of stuff from year nine up to scholarship level. So I'm going to have a bunch of folders in my Google Drive for year nine, year 10, uh, and then here in New Zealand, we do level one, level two, level three and so on. So I've deleted everything from this Google Drive starting from fresh. This is a different account, so we'll be switching back and forth. Uh, we have our different account here and within this Google Drive, I'm going to have like year nine, year 10, level one, level two, level three, and so on. So let's click on new, new folder. Let's call it year nine. And then within this year nine folder, I'm going to have the different strands that we teach. Now strand is like a topic. So we have number, Algebra, Geometry, Measurement, Statistics. So I'm going to create a new subfolder within this year nine folder. So we have uh, uh, number, but we do number first. So I'm going to call that one number. That creates our new folder. Another way we could create a new folder is by clicking C. That opens up that menu and then press enter. And then we go on to the next one. Let's go do algebra. Now back in our Google Sheets, we're going to write all of these as sort of like a, um, a hierarchy. Back here in Google Sheets, we have year nine. That's the main overarching theme of this subfolder. Under year nine, I'm going to create a, a, a barrier. I don't know what to call it really. Uh, that line there, it's just with a, a chosen color. It doesn't matter what color you use, just make it look pretty. And then I'm going to go with white for the text uh, colors. So under year nine, I'm going to write main drives because I'm going to have my drive, but the year nine folder within my drive and also the year nine folder within our school shared drive. And that's for all of the, the math department. So if I were to click on the my drive, it should take us directly to this folder here. So this folder here is uh, has a link up the top right here. I'm going to control C, copy that and then paste it back into this course links. I'm going to do control K and then control V and then apply. 
So when I click on this, it's going to open up directly to the year nine folder. And there's those three folders, three subfolders that we created earlier. Next up, I want to have a list of uh, links to those folders that we just created. So here I'm going to call this my strands and this is going to be in personal drive. We'll also have a section for strands within the shared drive. So for the personal drive, uh, we have number, algebra, geometry, and so on, all the rest of them. I'm going to copy and paste those over to the shared drive as well. And again, just like last time, we want to create links to each of these folders. So if we go back to our Google Drive, we can click on this and open it up and click on the URL at the top, control C to copy it, go back to the course links. Once we're on um, number heading, we can control K to open up that link, control V and press enter. So now when I click on number, it takes us directly into the number folder or the number subfolder within year nine, which is in my drive. And which can just go through and do that for each one. Here's a little trick to make it a little bit easier. When we opened up number here, you can see on the left hand side, it opened up these folders here. And then we can just click on this next folder in the list. Control C for the URL, back to Google Sheets. Control K, Control V, enter. Press enter, that's algebra. Next up, let's go back to the Google Drive. Click on geometry on the sidebar. There's uh, our URL, Control C, and then back to Google Sheets. Geometry, Control K, Control V, press enter. And there we go, we have our links. And we'll just set that up for every single one of our folders. Now we have here my drive strands uh, for the personal drive and shared drive. We might want to have other important links. So uh, let's just call it other links or uh, important docs, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter. So one of the important docs might be the year plan. Maybe we want the scheme. Maybe we have a resource that we use all the time. So we have 10 ticks here. I use 10 ticks a lot for my relief classes. Uh, and then you might have other docs. And over here, you might have whatever book you're using for your curriculum. So maybe here I use my alpha book and I've got a link to the alpha book within my Google Drive. And that will take us directly there once we control K, control C, control V uh, to paste the direct link into each of these things. That's all there is to it. It's just this one trick that we use over and over and over again. It's just one thing. And, and you can reuse this for your other links. So let's say we have year 10. Just going to paste that there change this to year 10 and we do need to change these links because at the moment this link is going to the year 9 folder so we need to go back to our google drive and make sure that we have a year 10 folder in there as well so that was c to open up this menu press enter for a new folder and then year 10. let's just quickly go through a whole bunch of them uh, over in uh, google sheets i would do the same thing just creating uh, level one, level two, level three, and so on. What I'm gonna do is I will show you my actual course links that I use every day in uh, as a teacher. So when I open up my Google uh, Chrome as a teacher, I get these three tabs. It automatically pops up. You can do that in the um, Google Chrome settings. Go to settings, you go to uh, on startup, and then down here, use current pages or add a new page, you choose. Uh, this opens up automatically. I've got my emails to start me off in the morning. Google Classroom, make sure everything is sorted in there for the day. Uh, make sure I've got my homework scheduled for later on that day. And then I've got my course links. Now the course links here is probably the second most useful uh, spreadsheet that I have made as a teacher. The first most useful is my mark book. And if you want to see a video on that, make sure you head down to the comments and let me know so that I can make sure that you get the information you need. Uh, also, while you're down there, make sure you leave a like or dislike to let me know if this has been helpful. But anyway, course links is by far my second most useful um, spreadsheet that I've made throughout the year uh, because it has everything that I need regularly. So if I want to go to my, I don't know, statistics folder. I could go up here, click on the plus. We go to drive, wait for that to load, go down to my math classes, which I've highlighted in green here. Go to year nine statistics. Now that took a lot of work just to get to statistics and I defined it as well. Over here in course links, I know exactly where to go. I'm year nine statistics, 
open that up and it's done. We're right exactly where we were. So it saves a lot of time just to jump straight into there. And then down the bottom, I've got my co-curriculars and extracurriculars. These are the competitions that my uh, that I lead. Down the bottom is the other important section, the staff only section. So we have the calendars here and then the staff shared drive. Uh, and then we have the duty list and the policy documents. Now the duty list, I'm actually gonna make another video uh, about the duty list because this could work as a work roster. Uh, we have duties at school, so maybe grounds duty or traffic light duty, things like that. Uh, but what I noticed was that some people were doing a lot of duties and some people were doing no duties at all. And it actually went against what was in our policies. So I'm going to make a video in the near future about the duty list, about how you can use Google Sheets to tell if some people are being exploited or uh, mismanaged. And then you can combine that with your policy documents to see, are you actually being exploited? Hope this has been helpful. If it has, let me know down in the comments. And of course, if it has not been helpful, tell me down in the comments, why not? What extra information I could give to you to help you out. Thank you very much for joining us and I'll see you in the next video.